My name's Tyson, and I just had a quick question on how I can get out of going to Disneyland with the in-laws there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. You are in a predicament. <laughs> I, um... Well, let's get some backstory here, Tyson. Are any of your in-laws Disney adults? Are any of my in-laws busy adults? Yeah, and you know what I'm talking about. They're always wearing the Mickey Mouse ears. They, they never shut up about Disney and how awesome yeah, it is. They rewatch oh, Mulan yeah. over and over again. Let's just say they got themselves Disney Web 2023. Uh, t-shirts that they can all wear as a family out there. Oh my god! <laughs> I would rather snort glass. Yeah. Than do oh that. my god! I yep. always. Okay. Well. Well, they're this... going at near the end of October there, and I'm a big ice fisherman. So, and we usually get ice down here in Utah around end of October. So that's kind of my really? go-to How? right there. What the are hell? Oh up, yeah. Are you way up uh, in the we... mountains or what? <laughs> It's about two and a half hour drive up to the UNS there and probably looking at two to three inches of ice when going out there, but <laughs> I like okay, so, a nice and rough. <laughs> you, you would rather two to three inches of ice, that's not like a ton of ice. You know, he'd rather go risk his life on some mountain ice than <laughs> he, go to Disney. He has to family. walk with his legs spread way apart so he can do better <laughs> weight distribution so he doesn't fall through the ice instead of going to Disneyland. <laughs> two to three inches of ice. Yes, dude. <laughs> He puts his That's pole more in the water. Rush than I'd get in any ride. I, I mean, that is, yeah, that's, the, I mean, I've fished on two or three inches of ice before, but I'm not far from shore. I, I don't even know if I have fished on two or three inches. I don't advise it. That, I don't that's, advise I, that, no. <laughs> would rather that's extreme <laughs> ice fishing right there, dude. Um. Okay. Well, we don't want to be held liable for you fishing on two inches of ice, so we're going to pretend like you didn't tell us that. Yeah, Charlie. we'll pretend it's a full five. Yeah. Um, okay. So how many people That's are going to... Myself, how many, I'm a full five. <laughs> <laughs> how many people are going to Disneyland or Disney World, and uh, what is it going to be like? What, like? what are you walking into if you do go? So we got probably 12 people going we got my girl her family which is about six others and then they got grandpa grandma and uncle going out there and all that stuff um kind of a side bit on that it was a christmas present for the girl and they said well you can we'd really like you to go and it's been a big fight and everything like that wanting me to go and then so they want me to pay for the disney ticket and then my girlfriend just got a um Venmo request from her mom for 400 bucks for the Airbnb. So she's paying 400 bucks for her Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Wait, 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 wait. So this is, explain the relationship again. I forgot. Wife, girlfriend, fiance. Fiance. Yep. Fiance. Okay. We've been dating about three years now. So they're like in-laws. Wow. Okay. Three years you've been, you, dude, you're signing up for a lifetime of this crap. <laughs> Are you ready for I, that? Oh, I know. <laughs> now here's the thing, though. Um, you do kind of got to set. Sacrifice, you do she's have to. Worth it. I like you that. You do have to set the tone early, though. So this this trip here is important. But it sounds like you've already been putting up a stink, and there's been arguments. Is that what you said? Oh yeah. Yep. There have definitely been arguments with the girl and the girl's family. She really wants me to go. They don't but want you I have to go. Zero desire. <laughs> like, no, they, they would. They would. Yeah. So you're talking. You told Maybe me. they don't. So she acts like she does. So <laughs> Peepa and Mima are also going to this. I mean, I can't imagine that Grandpa is that jack to go to Disneyland, or is he just happy to be out of the nursing home to do something, or what's going on there? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm, you know, he's definitely. I mean, a bit. Being at that age, I would want to be staying home in a quiet place. I'm already like that at 27. So I'm going to a crowd of people. I'm not sure what he's thinking. He's just been bribed or something. Yeah. Maybe he wants to just see a whole new world, <laughs> a whole fantastic point of view. <laughs> Although, Charlie, well, I would that say that Utah it is a family. small world after all. It is a small world after all. But you don't know that until you take a magic <laughs> carpet ride. Mm-hmm. 
Um, well, if you had how far my Disneyland Tyson, gone, right? Tyson, let me ask you this. If you had three wishes we could grant you right now revolving around this Disney trip, what would they be? Um, five inches of ice. Yep. Um, let's see here. Three wishes. Ooh, I, I didn't even have to rub the lamp or anything. No, no, we're, we're rubbing the lamp for you right now. <laughs> Miles. Yeah, we'd probably ask for five Hand inches of ice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, well, that, you, you already uh, messed up the wishes question because yeah. everyone knows with the war- first wish, you always ask for more wishes. That's rule number one. You can't do it. Haven't you seen Aladdin? No. Come on. Um, all right, Tyson. It, here, to, here's yeah. let's get down to business on this. Let's be real on this. Um do, you have made known your lack of Disney love to your fiance, and she has said essentially, suck it up, you're going. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Yep. Then uh, you and then got. They want me to pay for the tickets and the Airbnb, whereas it was a Christmas present for everybody else. Okay. You got two pathways here, Tyson. You can either. <laughs> You can either push against this and make a stand and say no, or you put this in your bank. You put this in your leverage account, and then you get a a free weekend to do whatever the hell you want. That could be with your fiance. That could be just a weekend ice fishing to get away. I would start building the account with this as you guys go into marriage. You know, Uh, this is exactly what every marriage therapist will tell you not to do. But start taking score right yep. now. Got it. There's everyone knows that marriage is about keeping score and having leverage over the other person. And, and this is starts right now. A lot of leverage. So you keep maintaining your distaste for Disney, and then you going will just add more to your account. There. And the thing is, is if you can actually have because I'm be honest. When you're going to go on this trip, Charlie, yeah, he's going to. It you sounds have to go. like. You're going, especially if you'd like to marry this gal, you have to go on the trip. But if you can get in the right mentality here, Tyson, and know that once because this ain't going to be their first trip that they're going to lug you along on. I yeah, can tell you that no, much. this might no. be an annual. That's thing. where I'm at. Well, you, so you it, gotta get, it might hey, be a long term hey, commitment. Hey, well, Tyson, wait, wait. Tyson, you got to get in the right mentality. You have to go into every single year knowing that you're going to have one trip a year that absolutely buys you leverage for the rest of the year. It is um, your penance. It is your uh, one weekend that you're going to have to suffer through just so that you can go ice fishing whenever the hell you want. And you're going to live this until the day that you die. You just view it as you got to work an extra weekend. It's basically you know? it. You're working that weekend. You it's got a business scheduled trip. on a weekend. You didn't want to work, but you kind of have to because the boss said so. Yeah. Yeah, that's always a good go to right there. Now, well, here's what I like about your your fiance and your marriage. Though. You said that she is worth it. And as horrific as Disney world or land is and i've been there it it, first of all that place has mice second of all the drinks insanely expensive really (laughs) what it does the the mickey mouse joke yeah yeah i dropped it in there i I thought it was well placed (laughs) um parking is insane it's nuts it's not the happiest place on earth I'm going to say that right now. But anyways, no. I like that you like your fiance more than you hate Disney because uh, you love your fiance more than you hate Disney. Because if that equalizes, my God, that marriage is going to work. It's one weekend a year. Definitely. No, and I. it just sounds like a nightmare for a week. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. So, like a couple of days at Disney is okay. But what what do you do for a week? Oh, at Disney? God. That's not a weekend, dude. That's a full week. Time out. You're going to spend dude, six <laughs> a week at Disney? That's yeah. a that's um that's like a a, a prison sentence. And and you got to pay for that? That's what I'm saying. It's, you got oh, you got to pay to go to prison. I got every day in that uh, that 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 prison you're going to be paying for like food. Overpriced food over, Those, and you're gonna be drinking a lot on this just to be able to stay. 
Ooh. All right. Well, you know what? Actually, it's California, hey, I, didn't, so I got a little legal. Hey. Oh, it's California. You got edibles. You can yeah, take. I don't. I didn't know it was a yes, week. <laughs> I didn't know it was a week. So I'm going to backtrack on everything I said. I think you got to start Thank looking. You. I think you got to start <laughs> looking for maybe a new mate. <laughs> I think oh, that, you know. You just helped me because my girlfriend watches this show with me. So with, when you guys were telling me all this, I'm like, we can't watch this episode together. We can't. No, I mean, yep. no, I appreciate the back on there. Seven, <laughs> yeah, he's like, guys, I called in to help my argument here, <laughs> and then you sided with her. What the hell? Yeah, week. No, I'm on your side. Weeks too long. You got to find a way. Maybe show up. You know, four days into it, and then you only got a couple. I don't know. You got. I mean, this cannot be an annual trip. You got to lay that groundwork now. I mean, that that's too much for any person to handle. If this is a one time deal, you suck it up. You put it in the bank account. You get you get to do a trip that that you want to do. And she's got to come. Yeah. No, what you got to do, because he's probably going to end up going on this trip. Yeah. What you got to do is while you guys are there, you're like, <laughs> this is a fun once every couple decades trip. I'm glad we're doing it now. Fun once in a lifetime yeah, once experience. In a, this is a once in a lifetime <laughs> experience. I'm soaking it in now because I'll never come back here because it's a once in a lifetime experience. Right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> That's well, good, I do yeah. have kind of you guys tell me what this idea would be. So, I mean, you, I'm in Utah here, so you guys know those Utah families. I'm the oldest of ten, so part of me is thinking, well, maybe I should see if we can go on a family vacation with the ten of my siblings and family, take her out before Disneyland, and then at that point, she's like, "That was hell. You don't have to come suffer with my family." Oh <laughs> well, if she's dude, happen. if she It'll suffers, revenge, yeah. yeah. If she suffers with your family, you're definitely you It'll got be ten. Worse. You're one of ten. <laughs> I'm one of twelve. Oh, you guys yeah, are both mass ten. produced. Yeah, thanks, Miles. Miles, you just stole my <laughs> joke. Um, Miles is mad because I made that Disney joke about the mice. No, that was a great joke. Oh, I, did you like I, it? I missed it right away. To be honest, oh, with you. nice. Um. I think if you go on a family vacation, are you, do you, does your family do family vacations? Uh, family vacations for us as a kid was us going down to grandpas and grandmas and then we got to spend a week on the farm. Yeah. The older I've gotten, it's us helping grandpa and grandma on the farm. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't, don't, uh, not a lot of vacations. Yeah. No, that's good. That's good. Uh, because then you don't have to pay for it. Uh, but you're already really paying for it. Ay, ay, ay. You're in trouble, man. Uh, what's is your uh, wife a, a Disney adult uh, or your fiance a Disney adult? Is she like hardcore like that? Uh, not necessarily. She's mainly going because her mom is the type that if you don't go do something with the family, it becomes a big ordeal. Oh, boy. So it's easier for her to go spend a week in Disneyland and pay the money for the Airbnb than it is to deal with her mom. Wow. Sounds like a codependent relationship, actually, right there. I do not envy your position. <laughs> yeah. This is... Maybe you go on the <laughs> Disney trip, but she goes to an Al-Anon meeting. Would, we'll just say you couldn't get off of work and you, you, instead of coming on Monday, you come on like Thursday or Friday and still go so that you kind of scratch that itch. Yeah. But then you don't have to be there the whole time. Maybe okay. maybe commit to just less days. Right. Do you that have would a, be a good compromise. I think so. Do you have a demanding job, Tyson? Um, not necessarily. I'm a sign sales guy. So I sell signs to people. I love how I asked if he had pretty a, flexible with all that. I like how I asked if he had a demanding job. And as we started the call, he was walking out to take this call. So yeah. Um, yeah, he's at work and he's talking to us. Yeah. So, so clearly not, not that demanding. You're a sign sales guy. Sign sales guy. Yeah. Can you make us a bellied up beer sign? You know, I would love to make you guys a belly up beer sign. That'd be awesome. Now, here's the question. Are we going to have Bush on there or are we going to have your lineys on there? Well, we're going to do as ma- we're going to order multiple signs. We're going to do as many as it takes to get you busy enough to where you don't have to go to Disneyland because you are working on our side. That's true. There we go, Charlie. Yeah. We found we it. We got it. Oh, you you got to work. So and- we- and we'll take the money you saved on that Airbnb and we'll put it toward the sign fund. Yeah, so they'll be free. <laughs> It'll be free for us. Get you off the hook. This is a win-win, Tyson. Yep. 
Yep. All right, we're gonna order up some Dude, signs. I agree. And then you just gotta work, dude. There's, oh, what, you gotta hey, bring home the bacon. Yeah, this is a custom deal. We're gonna shout out you and your business. I mean, th- this is good financial uh, situation for your family. You just can't make it to Disney the full week. And I'm, and you said it's the end of October or beginning of October. End of October. I was really hoping it was the beginning because. Then I could use the excuse of Charlie's show out there in Vegas. Yeah. Are you coming to my show in Vegas? I am indeed. That's awesome, man. Hell yeah. All right. Well, here's the deal. We're going to place our order the third week of October, and we expect it before November 1st. So uh, you don't have much time to work with. And if you got to work overtime and maybe skip a trip, then that's just what you're going to have to do. That's just what, you know, you're doing it for the betterment of your future family. You know, and that's that's true. I got to make sure that your podcast has suitable signage there. And if I let you guys down, I won't be allowed to listen anymore. So, yeah, I think that's a great plan there, fellas. All right. So, well, Tyson, thanks for calling in. Um, And thanks to your fiance for listening to this. And if she's really upset with us, have her call and uh, we'll chit chat with her, too. (laughs) Awesome. Well, I may be calling in a couple more weeks to give you all an update on me going on that Disney trip because like you spell said before we all know I'm going to end up going <laughs> <laughs> well have fun <laughs> have fun out there I'm sure you'll find something uh, do, do they um, you too fellas all right well Real good we'll see ya uh, I, I, it's I just a, know, it's, it's just no, this is to lose lose it is I hate Disneyland <laughs> I do the last time I was there it was like my sixth birthday was it? Oh, yeah. you went for your birthday? Yeah. I got a sticker. Damn. That said it was my birthday. Really? Yeah. Were you excited? Did you have fun? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Six. It's like anything makes a six year old happy, you know? That's really cool. Were you guys down there for vacation? Just happened to be around your birthday or did... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. In Florida. No, the Disneyland's in California. Oh, okay. Cool. Disney World's in Florida. Got it. I always mix them up. Yeah, same church, different pew. Same church, different pew.